Welcome to Meet the Ocean. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. FSB have a mission. We have a liftoff. The program is in on time. There are responses for one. Well, here we are, floating in a most mysterious way, but not in the way that you might think. Today, we are not going underwater. Today, our podcast floats outside the atmosphere and joins an excursion into the unknown. And who better to take us there than renowned National Geographic photographer, David Dubelay, who just so happened to have one of his images selected to represent the saltwater ecosystems of our planet on NASA's Voyager mission. David's photography is so good, it makes you feel like you're on another planet, especially his over-unders, where you can see the two adjoining mediums of Earth, the air and the water. Before we cut our storyteller loose, though, I would like to remind everyone that Meet the Ocean is a listener-supported nonprofit. In these changing times, digital content has become more precious than ever, and the team behind Meet the Ocean is very proud to report that teachers and families around the world are using our podcasts as educational tools for at-home learning. And here's the secret. It's because they're fun. Kind of one-stop shopping for penguin and polar bear stories, not to mention all the cool scientists we get to interview. You can always find new content and ways to donate to our educational mission on our website, meettheocean.org. And now, on to our episode. Meet, 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 meet the ocean. I'm David Dubelay, and this is Meet the Ocean Encounters. It's 1974, and I'm working on a story in the Northern Red Sea for National Geographic. And it's a new endeavor for me because this was a piece of underwater photojournalism, not just photographing a single animal, and I worked on garden eels and lobsters and shark-repelling flounder, all sorts of other things, but this was a look at the Red Sea, this unique an incredibly beautiful body of water that some of the most northern reefs in the world. We were working out of Sharm el-Sheikh, at the very tip of the Sinai Peninsula. We worked in Ras Mohammed, which is a peninsula at the very tip of the Sinai Peninsula, and we also worked slightly up the coast from Sharm el-Sheikh into the edge of a place called Nama Bay. I was diving with my friend Howard Rosenstein, who was a pioneer in diving and underwater uh, photography in the Red Sea. And this is 1974. And I had, of course, our new underwater housings that were developed by Geographic and my friend Bates Little Hales, the Ocean Eye camera, which meant that I could photograph with a super wide angle lens scenes that I always dreamed about. Howard and I found a cave, a small crack in the rock attached to the side of a peninsula not in an island, but actually part of the mainland. It was a long vertical cave, and it was full of silver sides and pemphides. Pemphides are hatchet fish. So I swam into the cave, and I paused, and I looked up, and here's light streaming down from the top of the cave. Here's blue water in the back of the cave. Here's the outside of the cave outlining everything like a perfect keyhole. I had two strobes. We lit the silver sides up. Howard paused for a moment, looked up, and I made a picture, a vertical picture that said underwater, fish, ocean, 70% of our planet. A few years later, Carl Sagan, a famous astronomer, was putting together 
a disc, a golden coppery like disc with imprints of what our planet was about. Murmurs of the Earth. And that picture that I made of Howard in the cave in the Red Sea was one of the 50 pictures chosen to go up in space on the Voyager for a voyage that may never end, way past any human's lifetime, way past the unknown, way past the edge of the universe. And here he went the picture, off in space. The Voyager whipping around Mars, whipping out the edge of our solar system. We laughed about it at Geographic. Uh, there's uh, 10 other photographers who contributed from National Geographic to this disc. And I always wondered whether we would ever get paid for residuals for this picture from Mars or Venus or the edge of the world or the edge of the universe. But I was so absolutely proud of this image representing our Earth's oceans. You can discover more about the Voyager's mission and the famous golden record on NASA's website. Special thanks to David Dubelay for representing our planet with his inspirational photography and for being a frequent contributor to our podcast. Meet the Ocean is produced by Paul North and Andrew Gettings with sound design by Kelsey Anderson and music by Vin Gast. We are a listener-supported nonprofit. You can find more podcasts, underwater creatures, and ways to donate to our educational outreach on our website, meettheocean.org. Subscribe to our podcast to never miss an episode, support us on Patreon, and please rate and review us on Apple Podcasts or whichever platform you choose to listen. Until next time, may the salt water be with you.